Hi, my name is Jennifer Crafton and I am a breast cancer survivor and I am one of the providers here at Ogden Clinic. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2019 and this was after I had felt something suspicious on my own at home and I went to my provider and I had an exam and they got a diagnostic mammogram and ultrasound done and I had an impression that it might be breast cancer um, but it was still a little bit shocking when I got the news. I had been getting mammograms every year, as I should, um, at age 40, and nothing ever showed up. And it wasn't until I identified as a very, very small lump that could have been ignored, and I went and I had a diagnostic mammogram and ultrasound that they were able to see that on the other imaging. Some of the biggest challenges that I had was, especially in the beginning, so as you first get you know, a diagnostic mammogram and then you have other imaging, and as they get biopsies and stage things and as you move along, the waiting is the hard part. Waiting until you get the next answer, waiting until you to get a plan of care, until you know what's going on. So there was a long time, many months before you really felt like you had a complete plan. So that was probably the hardest part. Some of the things that stand out the most to me was all the amazing people that I was surrounded with, from my healthcare providers to my employer to my friends and neighbors. I am really bad at asking for help and the help I received, especially when I let people help me, made all the difference. It helped me be strong, it helped me do the things I needed to do and, and to work through that and to get through it. So for me, one of the best ways that people can help was to let me do the things I want to do. Let me work if I want to work. Let me cook a meal if I want to cook. Let me be lazy if I want. Let me watch a movie, allow me to deal with things the way that work for me, but in a positive way. So my way of coping was to still go to work, still function, try to be normal. I always told everyone I don't have cancer <laughs> and uh, that I just look bad on paper. But for me, my answer was to try to be as normal as possible and allowing people to let me do that. So I'm currently in remission and it's been five years and I am still seeing my oncology team even though it's been less and less over time. They're still encouraging me and helping me to do all those things to move forward and stay healthy. And I encourage everybody to keep following up with whatever is recommended for them at that point in time. I also feel like I'm doing well. It's easy to be anxious and worry about it coming back but I try not to worry about that because that, those things are out of my control, but to be able to live my life and move forward and try to be as healthy as I can. I always recommend everyone to speak up. If you find something you're worried about, get it checked. Nothing is too small to have it checked. I would personally rather tell someone they're fine a million times than to miss it once. And so to Speak up if you're worried, have something checked, and if you're not feeling well or not getting the answers, ask until you get them because that will help you. You need to do the right things for you. I would really like to tell somebody who's been diagnosed with breast cancer that this is something that can be managed. This is something that can be well treated, especially the sooner that you get, get help. Let people know what you need and work with your team. They're there to help you. People want to help. And so to speak up and, and you can do that and talk to your providers and those around you so that they can support you. But as a provider, there's quite a few things you should know about breast cancer. Some of those things are to seek treatment, to do self breast exams, to do the screenings. If you're having any changes at all, get them checked out and, and speak up and talk to your providers or someone you're comfortable talking to. So one of the things to be aware of in some women, breast cancer can be estrogen and progesterone sensitive, and that was mine. And so having any extra estrogen or progesterone could make a cancer grow. And so to not use hormones unnecessarily is very important. So patients should feel comfortable to share any of their breast concerns with any of their providers. They should be listened to and get the appropriate testing or screenings that are necessary. And they should speak up. That is how you can get the help early. 
and they can help support you through that journey if necessary. So women can get a routine screening done without seeing a provider, but if there's ever any changes or concerns to get the right testing, you have to see a provider to get that diagnostic testing, whether it be a diagnostic mammogram, an ultrasound, or possibly an MRI. And so that is where the treatment will start. You, you need to speak up to one of the healthcare providers. So there is some difference in testing. So a screening mammogram will get some basic images that can detect some abnormalities. But if there's any lumps or changes, sometimes you need a diagnostic mammogram, which gives additional images. And then an ultrasound can add some additional views that can look at tissue in a different way. And it can see things that sometimes cannot be seen on a on a mammogram with dense tissue and fibrous tissue and other things. And then MRI also will give us additional images if necessary. So the imaging can be different and for some women with dense tissue or fibrous tissue, the mammogram may not be able to identify all breast cancers. And I will admit that my breast cancer was not found on my mammogram, but on my diagnostic mammogram with the ultrasound. It was only seen on that ultrasound. And so it is very important to speak up when you have an abnormality and not just assume the screening will catch it. So if something is different, I want to encourage everyone to please get the tests they need so they can get the help and treatment early. The sooner that you get treatment, the easier it is to fix it and to live a healthy life. My name is Jennifer Crafton. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Ogden Clinic down at Cope Family Medicine in Bountiful. I am currently accepting new patients. If you have any questions or concerns about any of these things, I would love to discuss them with you. Thank you so much.